the different narrative complexity faces than what we had after day one. They took down Astralis. We thought they were going to go up 2-0. They had a chance to be three, and now they find themselves fighting in a 2 and one game that really sets either of these teams into a beautiful position in this group. It's a great start, as you mentioned. Well, sort of mentioned. You, yeah, I just you, made uh, a little Exasperated. Sounds, yeah. Floppy gets taken down with a clean headshot. And Dexter now will hold the position to try and bait forwards. Frozen, excuse me, into position. They've also got a second player in the bathrooms on top of what I mentioned. So Frozen looking at the direction. His teammate Torzen beside him is going to take down the bomb and has his back covered. Needs to swing to hold him alive. Frozen does go down, but Torzi recovers. Beautifully traded and held between the two, and Torzi does all the dirty work. A Torzi Frozen hat trick there, or full house, I should say. Three kills on yeah, one, yeah, two kills two on the other. Three, yeah. yeah, that's how We're it works. in Malta. I don't play poker anymore. <laughs> Nice pistol round, good shooting from Frozen and Torji, and unfortunately, I mean, there was some opportunities for complexity there. Just nice shots with the USP straight to the dome. This is good work from Grim, but turning the corner, couldn't get it done on Frozen. So pistol round to Mouse. They get started on the right foot. It all opened up with a one tap from Frozen. Two M4s, three SMGs. Let's get it underway. Four spy from Complexity. They're going to get a chance. They're going to get a battle. Blinded up early. And Torji's going to win the initial fight and the follow-up. Runs out of bullets, but Frozen's there. These two having a field day in the opening pair of rounds. Yeah, not bad. Good establishment already of the latrines. They're keeping it clean. It's always good to establish dominance in the bathrooms early. Yes, absolutely. It's nice to know that they've got custodians taking care of them frequently. Guaranteed clean bathrooms. Just like Irving, but that never is true. Paul Zerk. Spicy. Eagle looking for a double. Can't do it. Exertion's going to get the kill. He'll go down. And two now for Mouse Sports. Team that's definitely grown into this group. JDC, I thought, played very well yesterday. See if he can replicate that again today. Man, we had a lot of questions for Mouse coming out of the player break after Cologne after their performance there and I mean they're they're answering the bell I mean they're 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 stepping up to the plate in every in every sense so this mouse that we've seen uh, pretty consistently look dangerous now answering a lot of questions gonna start having uh, an infusion of confidence in in the viewers Nate stack for complexity gonna try and triple Nate a position and blow up on contact let's see doesn't look like anyone is gonna be too exposed to it and even the SMG to disrupt the lineup. They should know it's coming. Not the cleanest nade stack in the world. Oh, no. But Fang, only good for one. Just a slaughter that came through Monster. Frozen will close out the round, so he's been all over the map so far and looking pretty solid so far as well. He has, if I can find his name on my board, six kills. So he does lead the way. He has passed Torzi, who did all the work early on. But now, Torzi, speaking of, will go on to the AWP as Holzerk does the same on the, uh, on the uh, terrorist side, excuse me. Yeah, Halzark's op has been uh, wonderful for complexity. I mean, his addition has immediately raised this team's level to a certain degree. We have yet to find how high it can go. But everyone around him seems to be way more comfortable with him in the opping position. Grimm's playing better, Fang's playing better, Floppy's still consistent. Three to nothing for Mal's into the first gun round. Dexter's gonna get aggressive. Almost picked off by Halzerk, who wants to come back for more. Missed another shot. Dexter's playing a dangerous game. Tagged up, but it does get the kill. Certainly gonna be traded after the fact, but there's Frozen and Dexter yet again. Just demolishing this complexity attack. Fang wants to clean up that kill, and he's gonna get it. And they might even try and punish Torji on the fallback. Might. AWP gets inside of the bathroom. He'll try and hold the angle at the door. He's actually between them at this point. Bomb, though. I don't think JT is... realizes he's here. No, and Bomb's in the hands of JT. So if he has the shot, Bomb goes down. That could be the round in itself. Fang is missing, but they've got a rotation coming out from the stairwell. Did they not? I thought there was someone. No, it's okay. So they've gone all the way back around. Fang's going to get one, but he needs to turn back and go for the Bomb. It's Sword CT, that other CT player. Excuse me, Sword T, that other CT player was. I'll get there, Jason. Yeah, well, it's all right. It's round four. We'll warm up into it. It's yeah, pretty for... warm here in Malta. I don't have that excuse. True. All right. Well, try to bail you out. No, it's okay. I don't deserve it. Fang knew the position of Torji, right? That's called out in bathrooms with the AWP, so you can kind of do that. He's pausing and waiting, hopefully, to see if Frozen's going to give up his position, if Frozen is going to move forward and give up the game. But Fang, at 30 seconds of the clock, is going to have to start moving back towards the bomb. He was anticipating as well that he was coming out from the underpass stairs. That's why he was holding that position. Clearing now the party. Smokes off Torzi. That'll just give away to Frozen that he's arriving any second. And Frozen, no mistake on the shot. Fang goes down four to nothing now for Mouse Sports. Yeah, looking good. His early aggressive defense is doing a wonderful job. Slowing things down, wreaking havoc early on in the rounds. 
Complexity hasn't been able to really get past Fountain without getting demolished. Good kills from Dexter in the underpass. This is JT not realizing the offer's in position. Counter-terrorists counter and what? It just kind of trailed off, Jason. Oh, the cliffhanger. Scout for Fang this time. As they try and desperately Scout out. rope something together. Okay, listen, you're not, okay? Michigan is not. <laughs> It wishes, but it's not Canada. We're pretty close. Now I'll give you half marks. The Upper Peninsula is basically Canada. You got hockey. And lacrosse. Ooh, that's Canada's real official sport. Tag, Grim, down to 10. Yep, his deagle hasn't been on point. He had some frustration with it in round two. Exertion, the next one up. Floppy and JT to challenge against him. There's a shallow swing from the Tech 9. Deagle can't get involved in the action. In a five on four. As the rest of complexity starts moving up highway towards Dexter's location. Shot tag going to Dexter, town to 29. Torji's gonna get Fang back though. Clips to the edge of the box to do so. Dexter's actually able to take Grim the rest of the way, but Holzwerk's able to find him in return as well with the scout, so that works out. This is actually looking all right, considering the ropey buy that complexity had. Yeah, anything else would be a gift. And at this point, if you're Miles, you can kind of just turtle up and let them commit into a bomb site. Let this all do the work. Good shot from Torzi. Baits out the first one. Ooh, nice dig from JT. Op will be recovered, but it's five to nothing for Miles. Bye, 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 bye. That was the shot from JT. Yeah. I never got into the boy band craze. Neither did I. I thought it was a bit silly. You mean you didn't have spiked gel tips in your hair? <laughs> no. Dyed blondes. Not at all. Yes. Yeah. I've seen you dye your blonde your hair. All right, first. listen, I did it for charity, okay? That's a little different. That wasn't even worth it. That was, that was a look. I think I think the best insult I got during... Oh, Torzi! Quick to catch out JT already. They get the opening pick. Exertion's blind, but so is Floppy. Who's going to find the other one first? Exertion committed to it. He knew that if he was blind, anyone else in that area was as well, so sticks to his nerve. Uh, the biggest insult I got in all of that was that I looked like a wash up Backstreet Boys fan. Yeah. Just holding on too long. Yeah. That's, I can see that. And I immediately wanted to shave my head. Miles has come into this game with a bit of an attitude. This is a, a really suffocating defense they've opened up with. They've now shut down underpass twice. It was Dexter previously with an M4. Now it's Torji with the op shot. They've been able to whittle down complexity when they've challenged towards Fountain. Miles is really very much in the face of complexity and they have no rebuttal. Look at this position from Dexter as well. This might be a situation where fortune favors the bold because they'll never expect him this way. Timing is everything. Oh! Okay. All right, Fang, I see you. Yeah, man, full moon tonight. Sticking those Fangs in. Or is he gonna get aggressive with the AWP toward the bathrooms? The Molotov down won't allow him to go any further, but that will soon extinguish about two seconds away from doing so. And now he can continue to charge. He's got an easy one. I say an easy one. A hand came out. It was the other player that actually went around. Fang again, though, is going to strike back and take down Torzi on the trade. Frozen finally plays Buffy. And immediately it's Holzerk that has to go one on three with the AWP. 20 seconds to do it. And they need a round desperately. Surely at this point, he's going to commit shotgun style AWP. He actually scopes it in, but he's lost track of JDC, who snuck around the far side of the box. Yeah, that's uh, that's nice from Maus. I mean, it all helps. That could have been way more dangerous. If complexity can stop losing some players early, they're, they're gaining some ground. It's just the problem is, I mean, Playing that round five on three, it's going to be so, so hard to get into the bomb site. Good trade. Not going to be saving anymore. They've got to get some rounds going. Six nothing is a problematic score to get this one started, but it's not too far gone yet. It's not even the scoreline that concerns me. It's the nature of how these rounds have been won from Mouse that is really kind of like, oh boy, this might be a long game. Hashtag Yanko was right. Floppy is going to find the opening kill onto Exertion. Molotov down towards Sandbags. Good return from JDC. Equalizes into a four on four. Floppy up close that time, I think was expecting some flashes or a presence, but either way, he got the support he needed to get the kill. He now holds for sound cues inside of B that's very heavily occupied from the defense as they get JDC in a position to boost up Frozen late. They even, oh, this is actually pretty sick by design, but they're a little bit late. Oh, just barely late. Although they anticipate it. They know Floppy was out there, so they try and force him out and get the boost over top of him. Now they'll just hit a nade. They know where he is. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a good way to clear it out, and I think Floppy just kind of beat the timing on that Molotov, but he's been brought so low. 33 HP with a Galil. 
Only a single Molotov left for complexity, and Mal's with this much silence on the map, much like they've opened up the rounds to this point, decide to get aggressive. See what they can find. Good pop flash peek, and this is... Uh, there's no way to really get through these smokes now. Like I said, just that... That's the Molotov. That's the only one they had. Bomb is going to be on its own through Monster, so if Grim goes down with 30 seconds left, this round gets exponentially more difficult. JDC waiting to... Catch them off, sees the shadow, and here's the steps, fires in early, but now we've got Grim and Fang opening up the site, bomb plant, inevitable, although I say inevitable, he's on 16, there's no nade in position to be thrown, no nade in the hands right now of the CTs, so they'll look for the weapons, they'll hold with the AWP and Dexter, we'll try and get close on that rifle, he's got to try and jump this out, but they trip over each other, no shot fired off, and now torsi has got to get more aggressive, he thinks he's still in the corner of the pit, he's lost track. Fang's in a much better position. I think Complexity win this one inevitably, and Fang confirms that with a lovely shot. Eight kills for him now. Yeah, nice triple kill from Fang. Really well done, Complexity. That was the only option they had, was just kind of peek into some dry fights, and they win them all. Good trade for Fang coming off of uh, short, and obviously a nice heads-up win for Grim coming through Monster towards Pillar. Complexity finally on the board out of a timeout. However, in a victory, they did lose a lot. So we're going to have a MAC-10 on JT, AK-47's otherwise full utility. Pretty much the only one fragging. Interestingly enough, Mal's after six six straight rounds, they've got no money left in the bank. They're fully bought up. Complexity did enough in those in those six rounds they lost to at least damage the economy to this point. So a win here would be absolutely fantastic. Floppy again, gonna challenge sandbags pretty quick. Behind the barrels, Grim able to catch out exertion after being clear, but JDC steps up for two. He'll jump away. He gets inside of the pit. 13. But he's alive. That means he can support and trade off Frozen. No, he's just going to line up with them. It's not what they wanted. It's not a two-for-one special, but it was apparently from JT as he came around the corner with that Mac 10 Ooh, this flank is everything. I like this route from Dexter. He can chill. Bang and JT just have to wait. You're never going to expect that location. Good sneaky play from Dexter. It's all on JT. He did get that double kill with the Mac 10 but Dexter's going to find him at the end as well. Mal's back on the board and avoid that disastrous reset. It's Complexity who have to drop down to, well, they could force buy some rifles. And we'd like to take this moment uh, in the game to remind you that the next major is in Brazil, 7-1. Oh, we're heading to Rio. Nice. Sick. It'll be a good time. Lots of times down in Brazil. Many times that everyone can get involved. There's I've never been to tickets. Rio. No, I've not been to Rio. We've done Belo Sao Paulo and Belo Horizonte. Belo Horizonte, yeah. And that venue, okay, I get that there was complications because it was a concrete, you know, brick. Nice <laughs> and they had to like drill sound lines in for us. But it was so loud and it was so sick for that. This is a running gun strategy. These Tech Nines, look at that wrecking crew. This is a mob squad and they're going to run everything down. This is a problem. Frozen knows they're all coming. Boys, get on the horse. I need you. Frozen maybe doesn't because he's done well so far. Tagged down to 80. He's controlled long. He's got coverage and he's got the angle. Slows them down, thankfully. He's just saved the round. Get to the site. Yeah, those two kills are everything, but also the positioning out towards long, it pretty much stops any attempt. If he's playing at dice boxes, they can still kind of try and move forward and progress and try and draw him out into the open. But over at long, he's just so secure. No presence there for complexity, and he knows it at this point. Floppy with the op and Grim with an AK-47 close up. Two smokes and a flashbang to work with, but they're going to be quiet, hoping for a mistake that's not coming. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be one. I mean, considering how this started, though, and the weapons they have, they're still going to go. I mean, they need rounds. They said it, and Grim's going to find exertion through the edge of the truck, fakes the plant, wants to bait Frozen back out. They know he disappeared down toward Long. Smoke is being a bit of a nuisance, and they're running out of time. I was going to say 31 seconds. They actually had more to play with than I thought, but certainly on the flank and the fact that they were being pinched by JDC as well, it's going to be Mouse with another round. Yeah, I don't mind that decision from Complexity, trying 2-1 out towards Long. A little bit difficult with that AWP leading the way, but I have to do something to try and flush him out of the position. You were never going to get a safe plant otherwise. Dangerous round, and Frozen is the hero. Four kills in the round, but this, that slows everything, that stops complexity cold in their tracks. Yeah, a little frustration. A little frustration, not a lot. Frozen's having a great game. He opened the game up with a one-tap in the pistol on. He's 15-5 and five now. Done fine work with the M4. A run boost for JDC. He's across with the AWP, but the unfortunate problem is that Flash has taken away that timing. However, they may not have known he was still going to peek from the shooter right side. 
key perspective right side, so... It's floppy. That does a phenomenal job because they were so committed to that run boost and putting the attention on Monster, he was able to walk up to Sandbags unchecked. Yeah, but that double kill allows Complexity, perhaps for the first time in this half, able to dictate the action next. They've got the man advantage. It's Mouse's defense that's got to scramble to try and figure out what's happening. Dexter's going to be pushed up to the divider, and Frozen has just positioned himself inside the A bomb site. As complexity starts taking long, Dexter's heard some footsteps, heard some sound cues, but remains passive. Frozen sits on 15 kills after that ace in the last round, so back into the lead. He's been pretty solid since the pistol, as we saw, and he's going to be holding the angle behind Dexter to make sure he's safe. This time, Grim. Just checking. It's the one thing with the A1S, it's so much longer. I always think that barrel's gonna give you away. Doesn't this time, doesn't give him away until he takes the shot to JT. Grim is able to at least trade. Frozen, stuck on the site. A little bit sloppy, he fired early because of the flash and that just gave it away too soon. Halsler was able to trade him out and it's two on one in favor of complexity and it is that early man advantage that was sustained, Jason. I'm interested to see how much Torji is actually gonna try and go for this round. He doesn't have a smoke for the bomb, just a single Molotov. And this might be a situation where he wants to save the op. Look at the money on Mouse. they're gonna lose this round and that's yeah. the only weapon they're gonna have. Dexter might be able to pick up a, a FAMAS in the next, but they could really use this AWP if they wanna fight for round 10. Ooh, he actually changed his angle and looked for a closer shot. I thought when he jump saw, uh, jump peek and spotted the op at long, he would just get out of there then. But yeah, he gave it a gave it a thought. All right, at this stage in the game now, complexity. This is this is fine work to take the economy away from Mal's, but, but you have to build upon it. There's there can't be any hiccups in these next few rounds, especially this next one here. This should be an easy one to close the gap a little bit. Uh, Mal's is going to have a decision to make if they want to force up here, or if they want to save one more round. Moss dropped over to Exertion, and they are going to force up. Deagle 5-7, two for Moss in the AWP. Torji does have a kit to work with. This round is all important for Complexity to gain a footing to start a comeback. Uh-oh. Of course, he's in a perfect position. Easy first shot. Fell off. I thought he actually was just going to step back, keep his head down, maybe go for a second, but probably the smarter and less risky play, especially with Floppy throwing the nade in that position immediately after. And I think Grim just eats a bullet there that's meant for Floppy, because remember, Floppy, we've seen him like three, four times in this half already, doing that fast yeah. play towards sand sandbags, and that is exactly what Mouse decided to counter. Good Ooh. shot. Blind, straight to the dome. That one was definitely intended for Floppy. Yeah, that one was. He got his bullet in the end. So that gives the advantage firmly to Mouse, considering they don't have the weapons or didn't to have it at the start of the round. It's Dexter on a FAMAS. See what he can do with it. It's Fang is in the corner. And he goes down. It's Fang with the AK-47 instead. Tagged to 18, mind you. So the Deagles now and 5-7 can be a huge problem for the Canadian. Yeah, might want to pass the AWP over to him and allow Halsler to get a little aggressive moving forward. Torz is looking in the same direction which they're setting up. He's going to see JT coming out. Torz, he's not missing much today, is he? Now, these have been pretty, pretty relatively, relatively easy shots for an opera, though. Remember, he's just been holding angles and letting people walk into him. Dragon. So, you know, he's still hitting his shots, Jason. Yeah. Let me true. big him up where I can. No, I am not. It's not criti I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying in this particular round, okay. they've been nice and easy. Fair. His standard typical op shots. Fang and Hulls are going to save. Well, dang, if you're complexity, this one doesn't feel good. Haven't been able to string two rounds together. It's been isolated round wins. Round seven and round ten. Both have been immediately responded by Maus. And they're up by seven. Free AK 47s. Yep. They take those every day of the week. I have to laugh in Counter-Strike, you know? It's like, you want the AKs so badly, but based on damage distribution, but in real life, they're like the most unreliable weapon. Like, if I had an M4 in my hand or, an, or a C16, I'd be like, I'm not touching that AK. If you had an M4 in your hand, I would be nowhere near Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> let's, let's think about what I just said. The only M4 I should have in my hand is a BMW. <laughs> like the drivers, you remember after day two, they were the only, only two in one team we had. They were at the top of the board. End of day two, they were 2-0, oh, excuse you. 
yesterday. And remember, too, they might have some tiebreakers over Heat and Astralis, the two teams they beat, but they lost to Heroic yesterday, lose to Malz, and then all of a sudden that ends game tomorrow is, is just critical. Oh, this group's crazy. This is uh, not clear at all. Tomorrow is going to matter immensely. It's going to be difficult as well. We obviously do all three games at the same time so that no one can influence the results of another team, but don't know where to keep your eyes focused on that one. It's going to be pretty pretty crazy shots. Oh, through the wall. Okay. Rosen tagged down to 11 as he walked by, and they'll hear that ding. I was going to say, Grim's having a... Uh, this isn't his favorite round to play, starting with basically 3 HP. Ooh, the Dexter. unfortunate part of that is they hear the ding, but this round they have no nades. They, Dexter made this play yesterday, remember, as well. Here on yeah, he was sick here with the bomb. That's yeah, right. Disgusting. He caught the bomb and just won the round straight up. Now he's going to have a fast flank. Ooh, this setup works this time. JDC with a double kill off Exertion's death. Grim can't be aggressive because he has no HP, and there's Dexter coming into play. Halzer goes down for free, and Fang and Grim have nothing left to do. Dexter waiting. Grim, low HP. Going to go down inevitably as soon as he walks out. Dexter holding the back lines. They just close the map, shrink it down. Fang. Has nowhere to go but the grave, so we'll get to a 10-2 scoreline at any point in time. Boom, oh, yeah. JDC closes it. 10-2, and no money for complexity. They'll drop down again to Tech 9s and Deagles and armor, but you can't really pick up any rifles here, so it's going to be a dominant first half for, for Mouse. Is pretty one-sided so far. And Astralis later on this evening, Jason. That's going to be a uh, pretty essential matchup as well, because yeah, they could each one of those teams is going one and three. Yeah, and that's brutal. That is brutal. I don't think you get through mathematics. I'd, I'd have to sit and look at it, but I don't think you can. All right, Dexter. Deep Nate. Gonna do lovely work, fine work onto JT. Finds the kill after the fact and can't transfer the spray over. The dink sounded worse than they actually were. He's only lost about 22 HP. Came back for more when he realized it and adds another kill to his total. Grim is going to come up from the stairs. Dexter and Torji have fallen back a little bit. Op is going to be trained in this position. Grim, timing is everything. Op out in the open. Now back into cover. Down he goes, though. That is lovely. Floppy finally getting something going, and he'll run forward to grab that AWP. Grim is going to be holding it. Dexter tagged to seven. Does get floppy. Thought it was from Grim that, okay, he's tagged up. I'll use my pistol rather than the op. Doesn't even matter. Frozen's going to cut out JT as it was a desperate run toward the site. Yeah, it doesn't matter when you get instant dinked and cleaned up. That's a lovely little two tap. 11 to two. Two rounds left, and uh, Complexity needs them both. They better have them both. Op and Hulls are AKs around it. This is Complexity's choice, by the way, in case anyone forgot from the start of this, and it was Yanko that you said heavily doubted them, and rightfully so, apparently. Yeah, it was immediate when they picked overpass. He was like, uh-oh. Yeah, well, this ain't going to go good. That's why he gets the big, big bucks. Well, I wish I was on his salary. Someday, Jason. One of these days. We'll work harder, I we'll guess. We'll get you there. Torzy going to go aggressive with the AWP at long this time. Hasn't been out and given this look yet. Ooh, I think it's a... Okay, it's not a break. Climb the slide and somehow slip away from death. Yeah, you got to be so happy you're even alive at that point when you hear that shot ring out. Torji had a freebie that he missed. Ooh, Halsirk returns the favor. Had his glance. Glance. It's all good. He's got the specs on. He's looking through. Someone needs, someone at DSL needs to get a picture of Halsirk coming into the matches when he's wearing his sunglasses outside. He's got like those Terminator. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe them. Like they, they're like the motorcycle motocross sunglasses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Super sport <laughs> wrap around the face type thing. It's, it's wild. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, he's gone down this round. Torzi, the better of the two operas in this game so far, is going to find Finland's finest in Halzerk as Grim gets Dexter. And it's going to be a four on two, Floppy and Grim, who again picks up an AWP with very little HP to work with it. Rosen's going to take down Floppy, and now Grim remains with only those 10 Harry Potters to work with. And it's the magic wand of Torzi that will put him in the, in the grave to make it 12 2, man. 12 2. The Elder Wand. Elder, is that, was that Harry's wand? No. No, that was the wand. I don't even want to get, I don't want to show people. Hey, hey no, let's go, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wand that the prophecy foretold. If you combine the three items, you become one of the most powerful wizards ever. Ah, okay, gotcha. The wand, That's the invisibility right. cloak, and the resurrection stone. There you go. 
Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. No, that's, yeah, I am too. <laughs> All right. 10, 12, 2. Well, what is there left to do but perhaps a monster pop? Grim is spammed down, all ready to 18 HP. They're not gonna make their way through. This half has been a complete disaster. JDC with the triple kill to open things. It's just gone from bad to worse to worse to worse to 13-2. All Zerk again this time, left with Fang. And he only has the AK to work with. Be clearing every corner at this point. They have no god. They don't even have any map. They haven't. They've had what two early picks the whole whole half. They just can't get it rolling. Halzerk this time will take down Frozen. So. Yeah, from the pistol round on, like Mouse has just been in their face early from the first 30 seconds. I think there's only a few rounds that Mouse has like played things passively, but they've they've basically prevented complexity from getting into any kind of rhythm, any kind of game plan, because they've just been shutting everything down before it even begins. And that's got to feel so suffocating and so just depressing if you're complexity. Hulls are going to lead the way with low HP to kind of bait and give away position. JDC on for the ace, but shut down before he could get the fifth. Exertion is there for a quick mouse. Let's see. Right out of the pistol. If they win this pistol round, it's just like, pack it up. Let's get to that dinner buffet. Bang. Trying to do his best frozen impression. Misses both shots. Look at the utility spread on mouse. Dropping nades over to everyone. Everyone's got something. Oh, that's pretty sick, Fang. We saw bathrooms be the place of contention in the first pistol round that it was very easily won by the CT side, Fang. Trying to replicate that now, not gonna happen as Torzi will at least get him down. So that's gonna open up some more space, but Floppy was in the corner the whole time and it's just Frozen remaining. Yep, Frozen was trying to sneak into some space, but doesn't actually matter because nobody's home, nobody cares. Bomb is down towards long. You can see JT just saying, you can have the A bomb site. We got the bomb, I'm gonna go chill there. Rimmon Halls are controlling the middle of the map, so complexity and complete control. So, should be 13 to 3. Cut into a 10 round lead. Yeah, that'll, that, that'll do you. Get some started, no question. I mean, get the momentum, don't get ego. That goes without saying, and then, you know, close this gap up a little bit. Get some confidence. It can just as easily fall in their favor if they can manage the economy correctly. It's going to have to be quite a run from complexity if they want to come back into this one. We better see a completely different team in this second half. Frozen looking for anything, finds Grim. JT gets geolocation and shuts him down. There it is, third. A shot coming out from Exertion. That was the one. That was the two. Oof. Fang is definitely... Uh... Stepping up in this game despite the scoreline not reflecting his efforts, but yeah, the only complexity player in double digits at the moment 13 and 14. He's trying, he's got his sweat on, it's, doing his best. It's so hard to carry Americans, I know exactly how he feels. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Ooh, ooh. Ah, that's massive. That's nice. I don't know if I've ever seen the majority of the entire HUD go red as opposed to its uh, dominant color. That that was nuts. Everyone just got absolutely destroyed, except apparently JDC, who somehow avoided all of that. Yeah, he dodged everything. Well, it's unconfirmed damage. Otherwise, I think you'd see Fang more than happy to challenge everything. He's going to clean it all up. You can tell it was one of, one of his nades. He's not getting any assists until maybe later on. Ooh, on for the ace. Dexter, last one left. Is going to give him the chance, and he shuts him down. So frustrating because he's like, oh, I'm out of ammo. I want the ace, but I have to go to the USP. Yeah. He knows he knows he could have had it, but it's all right. He ties his best. He's gotten the fourth round and now for complexity. Shout out to Dexter as well. Give him the opportunity and then put him down. Real just shaming it. Yeah, well, it happens. Boom. Yeah, that was pretty solid rounds. And if it weren't for the nade, the FAMAS wouldn't have got the kills. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> Oh, your hatred for that weapon knows <laughs> no bounds. I got it. Someone's got to do it. Someone has to do it. Round 18. All five players from Mouse towards Fountain, towards Playground. Quietly. Waiting for the smoke to fade, standing in it. Now they'll start making their move. Halzerk is the only defender at this bomb site for the moment. I just laugh that they're just standing in the smoke like that as it fades, not even considering like, ah, gray screen issues. Now nah, we'll sit here. We're good. Someone will trade me. 
Olzerk's going to be under some pressure here, no doubts. He's so. going to get caught in a retreat, I think. If they... uh, I think you're okay. I guess that's the only way he could go. He knew it, but that's, yeah, that would have been massive, and he's still going to have a problem because he's the only one up the stairs. No, okay, minimap misleading. It is Grim at the truck. I thought he was down below in heaven on rotation. Ooh, looked away to dodge the flash. They didn't check the corner. Didn't check the corner. They've given Grim a chance. And remember, they still have long covered off. Grim's gotten three in this round. Dexter trying to find his way in. Sees the utility go high. Steps back out to find it. Nearly got the headshot to Fang, but he makes no mistake. And it's just frozen left. Mao's looking equally as troubled at finding the opening kills as complexity were on their T side. Yeah, shout out to Grim. Although, given a gift, JDC doesn't look his direction at all. That's uh, I, They might have heard the footsteps out towards Long, which is why he was focused to the left, waiting for the repeat from Halzerk that never came. But Grim got to just kind of chill and line him up. Good round from the Grim Reaper. 13 to 5. Yeah, JDC's not even considering it. Grim even had time to look away from the flashbang and come back. Molotov. Well, it's in here. All right, I, I do that, and then I have to... I, on principle, I have to correct myself. Especially because in the 10-man I played of Source 2 the other day, Molotovs actually shatter on the walls now. Incendiaries don't because they're in the canister. It's actually going to make a. It's going to be game changing. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Make it more difficult for the teaser. What, what did they say? November 27th, we switch over? Something, something like that. Ballpark. Yeah. Looking forward to it, actually. I think it's. Uh, you know, Valorant's never going to know what hit them. Perfect Thanksgiving treat. Uh, Thanksgiving's in October in the real world. Sorry, bro. Balls are in bathrooms. Off angle towards the main choke point, playing from divider. He wants to get aggressive. He's hungry. Looks like Mouse is going to come right through their own smoke. That might catch Halzerk. Actually, here's the footsteps now coming out. Double kill for him. Transfers over for three. Well done from Halzerk. Got two more to deal with. He's tagged down to about half HP. Can't get the fourth. Can't do it, but Fang's going to come back out. Doesn't want to overstep that. Low HP clotheslines him, and Dexter's body flies away. It's actually Grim that got that kill as well as the one under Frozen, so he stepped up and overshot his teammate. But now it's getting there, right? 13-6. We're seeing Mouse struggle. They're not building up much. The economy is growing. They've only had one gun round, so it's not, not any, any time for panic just yet. Not any time to get hyped up and then say complexity is coming back into this, but this is, is certainly not bad. 4-0 to begin the second half keeping themselves in it. They're seven rounds back. This is a huge round. Let's see what Mao's bring to the table here, if they can get going right out of the gates. Exertion's been quiet, but not not for any fault of his own. It's just everyone else was so dominant in the first half, he didn't really have to do much. Fang in the stairs, Grim with the boost. So they've got the lower underpass position covered off. We haven't seen a lot of B at all, you're right. This is interesting, because now they're going to be setting the bomb and trying to play these picks on both sides of the map. And the man with the lovely mullet, the mystical mullet, is sitting down in the stairwell with the AWP looking back toward the party. So you've got two in the stairs, two in the B with the boost, no one at A, and it's the one round that, oh, they're trying to figure that out, and they've lost Grim, they've lost Halzer. No, they haven't. Fang's going to save him, just barely. He stays alive on 38. That's such an important kill, but uh, this defense is going to have to make a decision because Halzerk is forced back. They lost Grim in the stairs as well. So how do you shift? Because no one is covering the A bomb site at the moment. They're just kind of trusting that nothing bad's gonna happen there. Frozen with two, they're right. Bad things are happening over towards B. Fang still in a position to have impact in this round. Fang still holding downstairs. Check toward the door, backs it away. He goes out again. Exertion's the one that's walking toward him. 11 HP, he needs to get out of there. Up the stairs he goes. Just Good luck, JT. Towards he can get it, but you're right. JT's all on his own. On his own for some time. I think he gets the first one easy. I don't know that if he's, he's able to get Dexter as well. Okay, now he does, because Dexter's going to make noise. He wasn't close enough to go for an immediate trade. He made the noise towards he through the edge of the wall, though. That's a lovely shot. And he knows Fang was the one that was running, so he's going to check to see where he's gone. Bomb's going to be planted. Oh, he's in the open, though. Oh, dear. That, oh, Fang's not going to be close enough. That could have been huge. Yeah, but it's still, it's still pretty decent for Fang, because Torji's obviously still convinced that he's coming for the flank. He's going to see the bomb in the open. 11 HP is going to have to be perfect in the drop down. Silence slipped the wall, and Torzi now is looking the right direction, whether or not he's doing so with anticipation. He's missed the shot. Fang is going to get another. He'll go get the AWP, and it's going to be 13 to 7. Bag him. Yeah. Give it to him, Fang. I'm mad.
13-7. Fang hitting him with the slang. That's a big boy clutch. Just shows enough of a pixel to bait out a shot. I don't even think he realized he was doing I it. I think that was, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we were to see his POV, I imagine. He's looking towards sandbags and his back just, it was like, yeah, it couldn't have been more perfect, but I don't know that it was intended. Okay, we got to it just after, but either way. Yes. Not only that, the smart play of getting away with 11 HP at the right time, because Torzi was already there with the AWP. Yeah, the repositioning was great. The opening picks either onto just rifles, the AKs, so no AWPs on the mouse side. They'll extinguish the flames, and Exertion is going to use as much of his abilities to get toward long, and the playground position as quickly as possible, try and beat the CTs, and Hulzerk knows that that's already probably happened, so he's going to back off to a more defensive position. Trained aim from Frozen, waiting for a boost. JDC is now cleared up that far, at least in the underpass, so Frozen doesn't have to consider those windows anymore. All right, position's cleared. JDC and Frozen, they can stuck, stick it in over at the B-bomb site. JT is going to do work with the smoke down at Monster. That confirms there's one further down in the site itself rather than in any off angles. So Frozen can, well, I was going to say potentially use that to his advantage, but doesn't want to go on his own. They desperately need to pick Jason. Yeah, they really do. Quiet at the moment. For a lot of this round, nobody's really exchanged fire at all. Mal's going to head back to the B-bomb site. Four players are here, though. Complexity is a lot of confidence in their players to hold onto the A-bomb site on their lonesome. Fang is pushed up in bathroom, still not hearing or seeing anything, so he's letting everyone stick around. Floppy, waiting to be activated, would love a pop flash from a teammate. It comes in a little bit late, but he still turns. JT saved his life, and Holzer's got one at Sandbags. All the defense fighting at the same time, and this might just run out. Mouse have no chance. 13 to 8, just 5 back. Wow. Absolutely destroyed on that one as well. Mouths are struggling. CT sides are being dominant. Look at Fang, 21 and 15. Dude, he's done enough. It's like that one hit wonder that's just holding his team in there, and now they're coming alive. JT and Floppy haven't really had too much to contribute, but they haven't needed to. Floppy, I, like you, you're right. I mean, the, the game on an individual level hasn't been great, but I mean, remember, Floppy had that double kill on, on yep. Catwalk by Sandbag, so I mean, not not a great number of frags, but he certainly delivered them at least one of two well, T-side rounds, JT right? Well, had the double at Monster that allowed Fang. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, there's been some impact in different ways. Fang gonna add more to his total, just a pair. JDC gets him down, though, with the Tech-9, so that gives them a bit of a position to work with at Bathrooms. They'll push through. Push through and push back the CTs because they're all toward the site. Torzi throws the M4 down to JDC. JDC's got armor. He can actually wield it, can actually get something done. 74 HP, uh, mind you, and Frozen also has armor in 100, but they think that inconsequential. However, they are up against AKs. JDC's the point, man. Let's see what he can get on the board for them. All Zerk. Right side, the defaults, trying to look toward bathrooms. 50 seconds still to play within the round. I like this call from Complexity as well. Halzerk with the AWP backing off into bank. Grim inside the site, he backs off behind the truck as well, so they get a little bit more passive instead of challenging, instead of dying too early. Two smokes. They need left. one towards bank. Left to throw, yeah, one already deployed, two to throw. There's the one toward bank now. JDC still has one. Tours. Oh. He's got Grim. Holzer catches out in the air. Frozen jumping through. It was a bait, though, a ruse, because then JDC could contribute and capitalize. I'm surprised he hasn't used Torzi as a bit of a boost to check bank after that as well. But he's going to throw the last smoke they had toward the dumpster stairs. There's a gap in that, but they let Torzi get away at least. No one on the flank. So there's a straight up duel inside of the site. JT's aware of that gap existing and is trying to use it. Floppy's revealed his position with noise, and JDC's able to capitalize. That M4 is certainly creating a problem now. Third kill in the round, and JT all on his own. We said he hadn't had a lot of kills. He did have the double, but this time he's going to have to clutch it out himself. There's no Fang to fall back on, and he's in the crossfire. He knows where both are, but they're repositioning, and JDC's going to find his fourth, and it's the 14th round for Mouse Sports. Disgusting round for JDC to deliver a quad kill, but you got to say the kill that had all the impact in the world is Torzi with that deal on a Grim behind the truck. That is the one that spun it right here. That, bang. Grim goes down. Halzerk's only able to do the one, commits after the shot. 
and nobody could handle JDC in this round. What a great performance and what a way to steal the wind out of complexity sails. 14 to 8. Know when this game could go. Everyone on now is using the uh, same AK, it seems the Vulcan it seemed it to, to show. Ooh, look at Fang. Look at Fang. They never they never thought about it. They never even considered it. Good double spray down Grim. Okay, Fang and Grim get complexity right back on track. Yep, Dexter and Frozen pretty much demolished at this point. They've got nowhere to go. Dexter's going to work his way up the underpass position. Smoke will dissipate. Easy shot. I mean, fro fro floppy? Yeah. S yeah, starts with an F. I that knew works. it started with an F. Dexter, last one remaining. is the adjective that describes the money situation for Mouse Sports also starts with an F now because they are down and out of this one. All five surviving for complexity. Yeah, this will be a weird uh, weird situation for Mouse, what they want to do with it. Exertion has 6,100. JDC has 5K, so, I mean, they, they can buy a couple things if they want to. They can actually buy up some AK-47s just with armor and see if you can limit the economy, do a little bit of damage. Maybe you turn around on its head. Question becomes, how much do they want to invest around those AK-47s? Deagles and Tech 9s being picked up. So just the one hero AK. Five round gap. Bang, holding off. <sighs> Gotta be careful. I was gonna say, holding off that position for the playground. They were wrapping around the corner far quicker than that. The pistol's getting some shots into the backside. Frozen and Exertion that have already gone toward Long, so the one AK is in position for the Long shots. Bang is stuck, though. In the stairs. Now, Complexity, okay, they brought reinforcements say, to help or, yeah. get him out safe. It's a lot of manpower to provide the evacuation of Fang, who picks up the AWP with low health. And Mouse have slowed things down, content with the early struggle for control. A fountain, they're happy with that victory. Grim, oh, the light pole. Still got exertion. He gave himself up, jumped out into that. Remember, that was the AK as well. Frozen knows it. He's like, oh, can I get there? Can I, can I get there? Can I get your number? He's got it. Oh no, oh no. Flashed ups. Halzerk didn't hear it. Halzerk didn't hear it at all. Frozen's gonna step out. He gets the advantage from his teammates and the information from Long way downtown. He steps out. It's JT that might be pinched here, but he's going to get aggressive instead. They kind of have to. Look at the HP on, on Fang and Grim. They're two of the defenders at this A bomb site very low. These tech nines are going to be super dangerous. Good nade. There goes Grim, blinded. Oh my. There goes JT. There goes Fang. Round done. Wow. Good read, JDC. This guy is killing it late now. Bomb has been it's got less skips in his game than a JVC. Complexity have uh, have not lost a gun round in this second half, yet they've... Uh, that was a dated disc. Man. Carry on. <laughs> they haven't lost a gun round in this second half, but they still just lost two critical ones to Deagles, to Tech Nines, a picked up M4, and that puts Mouse on 15. That's, that's, that's a tough one to swallow when your gun rounds have looked so good against AKs and against AWPs, but you're not able to handle the, the, the upgraded pistols and armor. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. I mean, the fact that that AK came back into play so quickly and that Holzer did not have any idea that he was that close was a problem. This was a great read from JDC. Yeah, look at Holzer. Oh. Yeah, I think he was going to clear left, but that player far popped up. It, it might also be, I don't know is if that, he... Is that mullet, mulleting with a mullet when you mulled? Yeah, that works. Yeah, all right. I'll go with it. I, I wonder if he'd be frustrated that that flash was even thrown for him to go for the peak. I think he wanted to play the bait position, having shown that Grim already showed his position. They would have assumed he'd fallen back and Halzer could have just chilled. He probably felt like he had to take a peek when that flashbang is thrown. Froyo going to be looking for some shots inside of the water position. for that boost side towards the run boost. Don't mess it up. Oh, they have. Well, well thankfully no one's home. Rolled an ankle. Blew a tennis shoe. Torn ACL. Wow. Why'd you have to go that way? I was like mechanical failure and like my ankle roll. That, wow. That sucks. Does he need surgery? Nah. 
It's one of those ones that <laughs> actually I don't know. <laughs> probably yeah. Uh, okay. Probably, probably needs surgery. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of those torn ACLs that doesn't require it does. Some any don't. Significant Some attention. don't. To be fair. <laughs> Used to be a career-ending industry, but now we have the technology. Fang is going to back off. Holzerk is going to get aggressive with the op utility being spent out towards long Holzerk. They. I. Ooh. I wonder if he realizes nice. Dexter's going to find a kill. Yeah, he's coming back for an easy shot on a Torji. He's got one more exertion to follow it up in Hull Zerks, messing around with nades, messing around with the smoke, and he gets it up in time. Yeah, he had to make that decision soon because he knew he was pinched. He saw the second player in the bathrooms, obviously, but made a decision to fall off of it. Stays alive, self-preservation at this point in time, as Dexter, all the way back toward spawn, is uh, going to let time expire and not be found. Hull Zerk slipping up the ladder, so 15-10. Complexity have definitely made this a close case, but we're not done yet. I got to say, I mean, both teams with really uninspiring offensive sides, hands on this yep. map, yeah. Still, Mal's just one away. Five more chances. AKs and an op one more time. Let's see. Bang gonna push up. Four players opening at the B-bomb site for complexity. Exertion. Holds the hold. So again, the op changing positions. Dexter's just gone straight through the smoke. You gotta love it. Exertion's like, all right, buddy, I'll take some inspiration from you and do the same. So they'll work their way toward the bathrooms. Grim's gotta be careful. I don't think he realizes he has to be careful, but with this kind of a silent lane, there's there's no information from Fang who's probably calling all of this clear. And if Grim makes one mistake, he's in trouble. But he's made noise and they know he's behind dice. So now they can get closer because they're gonna try and isolate him. He gets the first shot, tries to run away. Oh my God, he nearly got that. He nearly got that. Dexter's on nine. Fang is locked out. Where's the initial bit, bit of utility? They, they don't have any smokes. They only have one more uh, Molotov, excuse me. So they're not gonna be able to lock Fang out. He's able to capitalize. Fortunately, they got the bomb down, but he's gonna be calling that that's on the truck. So JDC is in a massive problem because they are all around him. They surround him and throw flames at his feet. And this is very hard to protect in the post plant. This is done. Three smokes as well. They can they can deploy as many as they want on the smoke. They can make some depth to it as well. There goes one on the truck and you have no chance for these guys to turn the corner and stop. They had to plant a truck just for safety. There's a kill from Torji, but no one actually challenging the defuse. Complexity is gonna get another round win and Mouse is gonna keep an op and an AK-47 in hand. Still flawless on gun rounds is complexity. Maybe, uh, maybe I should just save. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe. I mean, that was close for a minute when Grim went down, but look at the damage. He gets a dink in still, and then they didn't have the utility to walk Fang out. Well, also, you could see the danger too, because Grim, and in all reality, should have never just switched a knife and tried to jump back. Should have been ready for the follow up fight to begin with, but because it was quiet pretty much the whole way, he didn't realize how closely they'd progressed onto the bomb site. Ooh, calls her headbutts that one. It's back out as well as the flames are spread at the bottom of the stairwell. Grim's gonna support Flash JT in for a peek potentially. Actually, he's gonna smoke that off instead, so maybe he's just gonna wait that wait for a call from JT based on sound cues. So exertion and Dexter. Some kid named Dexter heading up long. Boost for Fang. We've seen Frozen pre-aiming this position a number of times, but this time he's not in that water. So, no threat. I also haven't really moved too deep across the map either. The minute remains. Exertion and Dexter just out. Or it's Flowers at long. JDC just starting to move and clear underpass. This is contentious between the positions at long, especially because this is going to be so important for Halzerk. If he loses his teammate at long, he's so far forward. I'm not sure he spotted. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed the elbow, and he's dead. To his right, sir. To the right, sir. Dexter's out. Grim did win the battle against Exertion, so they still know there's one toward long. Grim is going to get there sooner than they thought, and he's going to try and flash himself off. He manages again to win the fight. That's Dexter once more, who couldn't land the shot fast enough. Fang strikes back into Frozen, but Torzi is holding the angle, and now they might have a chance. It's JDC. The MVP in my book in this game turns around to find Floppy, and that flank getting shut down might close this map for Mouse. JT going to work his way up from the dumpster as that bomb continues to tick behind the truck. He's got the kit, but no utility. First shot is 
missed, but that's information. JDC, he knows where he is. And they're being very patient about these peaks because they know time is the better aspect of...